Tommy from Indy Tommy Tips and today I'm going to show you how to trim your yucca bushes so they stay healthy and they grow tall. Using a garden shears or a hedge trimmer you want to cut as close to the bark as possible. Now these leaves stick at me in the shirt and it hurts. Certainly watch out for your eyes. Put your shears in there and as possible. So when you have a proper shears like this one, it's about 20 bucks. It really does the job. These things are very thick. And you want to cut them so it kind of looks like a pineapple. Get a close up here, Karen. Some of these brown leaves down here are really hard to, to cut. Don't try to cut two at once because it's really difficult. I mentioned before they're really thick. You got a shears like this. Using the shears that we sell. This tree is about six years old, and if you trim them three times a year, they'll grow real tall. Eventually, they could grow so tall that they could fall over, but you gotta be careful. In the wintertime, these leaves will turn brown. But don't worry about it, because you've gotta trim them in the springtime anyway. Then sometime in midsummer, you'll trim the leaves again, and then one more time in the fall. You can see while I'm trimming this away, look, there's knuckles that like form on these branches. I could let this grow out, but if it grows out too many branches, it could get heavy and topple over. By the way, These trimming shears, we sell them also. They're about $20. So you can see in here, I mentioned, look, there's four, four branches on here. There's one here, goes all the way down. There's another one that formed here. There's another one here and here. Make sure you cut them one at a time, pull the leaf and cut it. They grow fast if you trim them. But I'm still here cutting this. I've been cutting it for about 20 minutes. Watch your eyes. When this is trimmed up, it's really going to look sharp. Did you stop tape? Did you just start? What would you do? Did you focus? Mm -hmm. I zoomed in and out. Okay. The cool thing about these trees are they can live in desert heat or icy snow. Too much water will rot them out. But if you have a cold winter in the springtime, the leaves are going to look like this, no big deal. I've been growing these things for about 35 years. Still cutting these guys. This guy ain't going to get my eye. You can see that other knuckle that I showed you on the other side? It's right there. This is the other one. If you don't wear gloves and if you're not careful, you get stuff in your hands. It makes your hand numb for like a few minutes. Been doing it for about 30 minutes. When this is done, it really makes a great showpiece. Friends come over and go, dude, where'd you get the palm tree? How do you make it live in the winter time? Well, it's not a palm tree. I call it a yucca palm. You can live in almost any temperature. Okay, it's starting to shape up really well. Got some brown ones here. Gotta cut these away. Few here, one more here. These guys with brown spots, you can literally cut them like this. You cut them on an angle. They always form back into points. It's really starting to clean up really well. And you can see there's like four, two main branches and there's a knuckle here and there's a knuckle here. In the winter time, leaves, get it, leaves have a tendency to get caught here. 
got a few more dead ones here. See this? So I'm going to just reach it down deep as low as I can. I'm going to hold it, pull on it, and cut. Got to watch for children around the house. If they're playing around these bushes, they can get stuck. Got to be careful. Well, I certainly do have a mess. Don't forget to pick these up with gloves as well. You'll get stuck. Here it is. Looks pretty cool. Took about 35 minutes. Rolling? Yeah. I'm rolling. We've uh, been rolling. So that's it for this tip for the day. I'm Tommy from Indie Tommy Tips. Don't forget to like us and first subscribe. Okay? Thanks for watching. Soon these flower stalks will yield beautiful white bell flowers.